Yes. And here humanity will correct its errors. It will correct its arrogance because it will not move forward mm -hmm. until it does. You see? To yeah. move forward, to ignore, is to live in ignorance. And so until this is corrected, humanity will in some ways live in ignorance. Perhaps you remember that certain biblical writings have said of who have wandered for 40 years in a desert, this being symbolic then of the ignorant wallowing in the ignorance for that period of time and more. And so now humanity in this regard as well will restore and restore and restore and many times over. Those who have truly placed themselves as responsible. This means not those whose fingers are being pointed at, but those who adequately take the responsibility for such measures. They will work in this lifetime and many other lifetimes to restore. Yes, observe the condition and in your own way, repair the condition, just as you have done with a cancer, you see? It is no difference. It is a cancer upon yeah. the body of the earth. Observe its nature. Observe yeah. from where it grows. Observe the thoughts that have contributed to its growth. Observe where ignorance has taken hold and wisdom has left. Find the point of correction, the insertion point, and there as objectively as possible, begin the process of repairing. It is no different than repairing a garment, you see. Mm -hmm. You find where it has been torn. Yeah. And there you begin with small steps and small stitches to repair until it is as seamless as possible. A great deal of damage has been done here. and It will be a very long period mm -hmm. of restoration. But humanity must look to itself in these answers, you see. It mm -hmm. cannot point to another. It has called forward this element from the earth. For generations and generations it has asked for this element. It has asked that it be delivered as neatly and tidy as possible. And now it must see what is the cost of being neat and tidy and having it be kept elsewhere. It can no longer be put out of sight and out of mind. Now it is in the backyard. Yes, they did not think that it was truly. It was an eventuality that would never happen. One imagines these things, but also imagines that they will never come about. Not that way. One imagines a worst-case scenario so that it does not come about, not so that it does. Yes. Could I have prevented it? Yes. But there is no purpose in preventing the inevitable. Mm -hmm. To prevent it would have been to delay. It is part of the unmaking. Before there can be the making, there must be the unmaking, the unraveling. You see? It must be unraveled. The story must be untold. Humanity cannot simply move forward to the next day or the next decade. Mm -hmm. It must resolve to see itself. It must see its own reflection. Then it will move forward. Yes, I will tell you that there has been a point, a boundary has been crossed that has not been crossed in a very, very, very long time to where the all is to where all things are remade 
reimagined. Where did all the species go that were present long ago? Where did the dinosaurs go? You see, where did the ocean dwelling beings of Atlantis go? In essence, they are still here mm -hmm. to a certain degree, you see. Mm -hmm. And so now humanity has its Atlantis, you mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Now it has found a point of no return. Now it must find solutions to what it has created. And if it does not, then it will not move forward. There it will find itself. You see, if it cannot resolve this, it will not move beyond it. Here is where this age will remain. This is where this age will end, if it cannot resolve it. Now, there is a point at which it may request the assistance of other beings, of other species, of other worlds. Mm -hmm. That would be an interesting scenario, because humanity would then need, must acknowledge the presence of those who have been present, you see, and of other species, of elder brothers, of extraterrestrials, or what they would be called. These have the ability to assist humanity, but that would require the acknowledgement, that would require the public announcement that as of yet has been denied. You can. You can. It is time. Already they are here. Already it is near now. Humanity of its own cannot resolve this. It does not have the means. It does not have the knowledge. And now it has the fear to further complicate it. You see, the arrogance now begins to subside to be replaced by a fear, a fear of that which cannot be controlled, a fear that nature itself is out of control. Mm -hmm. And, sweet one, it becomes yet more dangerous, if you like, for I tell you that of the different theorems that are being thought about, studied, is an option that includes, as you might already imagine, a nuclear device. It begins to look even more, as if Atlantis has awoken from its slumber. Of course, for you are wise in your many ways, knowledgeable in many instances. Of course, it can be prevented. Yes. It can. It will fall upon the thoughts of many. It will fall upon the many to object in the ways that they can. Mm -hmm. It must be a worldwide objection. This I tell you. The objection must come from every voice and every language mm -hmm. because this age belongs to all. And so it is all that will say, it is my life, it is my world regardless of the age of those that would put forth their words. There are those that simply see now a voice that was not used long ago, a voice that was quieted long ago, in another age, in another time. It is not as loud as it is clear. They yeah. must be firm. And yeah. yet, in order for them to be firm, and in defense of the silent, Many do not truly know or quite believe that this option is a true one. Mm -hmm. You see, they say, oh, it is only one of the many ideas. It is not the idea. Of course they would consider that they must consider everything. You see, they do not necessarily consider that it is a viable option. They would not really go forward with that. They don't know enough about it, do they? Mm -hmm. You see, and so all of these thoughts cause one to self-deny. Mm -hmm. No, it could not possibly be. No, I do not see that at all. And so the voices cannot become quite clear because they do not know that behind closed doors how serious this consideration mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, because it is indeed one of the great differences of another age that can be prevented in this one. Humanity does not have the memories of what went wrong last time. Mm -hmm. And so it must quietly rethink its thoughts to see what it will decide this time. Tis so. There is more than one. There are three distinct possibilities, this being one of them. You see, the difficulty for this country is that it has been easier to decide the fate of others because almost all of the wars or the skirmishes have taken place elsewhere, on another shore, you see, right. elsewhere. Yeah. Or it could be viewed from a safe distance. Yeah. where the country could have been said to be the power, the peacemaking power, you see? This time they cannot do so, yet they have a finger to point. But soon, soon, in all that will be revealed, the tables will be turned, and it will be shown that it was not the other country, the other company whose error it was, the error, the fault will have been proven to be within these shores, within the boundaries of this country. And when, when the other corporation, the one that now stands upon the gallows about to be crucified, when they will bear that crucifixion no more, then they will point the finger appropriately at where fault belongs and then it will become even more difficult to swallow the bitter pill no he stands behind others he stands behind the safety of a barricade he stands behind the political ideals the platform, if you like, upon which he was placed. And the world is not in a hurry to displace him, not yet. The danger is that more will be exposed, you see. Mm -hmm. It is a chain of events, after yeah, all. Yeah. It is a chain of circumstances. Now the world is turned to the footage, you see. Mm -hmm. The footage under the ocean, or if you like, all that cannot be seen yet. Eventually when it is seen to surface, when other truths surface, and others responsible parties also surface, in some ways he will have been seen to be complicit. Not necessarily at blame, but he will not be able to distance himself enough mm -hmm. from that which has already taken place. For the time being, he is able to wear the hero's costume, if you like. He is able to carry the torch for others to follow. But it will not be long-lasting. Mm -hmm. And there are many that would take him down, if could be. You see, the forces, yeah. the forces of being have yeah. circled, you see. And while he yet sits high upon his own throne, those that circle around him... They have already noted where the weak points are, you mm -hmm. see? Like the lions that were a circle about a zebra. They have already identified the weak one. Not yet. He struggles for it, you know? Yeah. Now he will align himself with others that have great credibility. He will ride on the coattails of the scientists and the educators, those that know. He will rally to the cause of the average citizen who put him upon that throne. It comes to the level of the Scandinavias, mm -hmm. those that understand yeah. how to bring forth when it is needed and how to block when it is. 
those that have made advances already in this regard, those that yeah. have begun to diffuse their own bombs, mm -hmm. you see, those that have already begun to look elsewhere, not simply that they are not dependent upon the same resource, but mm -hmm. those that recognize that they will not be governed by that yeah. resource. Yeah. It will be their master no more. Mm -hmm. And so this is where some of the minds are, and the minds have access to certain technologies and certain truths, for they have studied many different eventualities. They will offer their guidance, they will offer their assistance, already they have, and some has been accepted, and more will be made welcome. You see, all that now comes of an educator's point of view, all of the world's experts will soon gather from all countries from all borders soon the world will come together in order to save or solve this problem it will be a council of many countries and the leader of this one will assemble them all in great gratitude and say and show to the world how excellently all come together but which one will fall upon the sword which one will fall upon the truth? Which one will object to mm -hmm. the worst theory of them all? You see? Yes. Yes. But what is the truth? What is the greater truth? See? What is the greater truth that supports the one and the many? Yes, the well-being of the world is at stake. Yeah. For the disaster that is now taking place will make its way around the globe. It will not be localized here. The ocean floor swells not only from one point. The ocean floor is crackled now, like crackled glass. And it will spread. There is a rift, you see. Yeah. And it will be carried to all corners of the globe in one way and then another. And so it does behoove the world to come together in its great councils, mm -hmm. to observe its rituals, and to bring forward its theories. And again I tell you, it is no different than the Atlantis of long ago. Yes. Because humanity must self-correct. It cannot simply obliterate and then continue. You see? It must self-correct. It must correct its own mistakes and that of others. And it has carried these within its own being. It is not simply today's greed or today's mm. economy that has brought this forward. It is that which belongs to the entire age. And so the world must see its flaws, it must see its mm -hmm. reflection. Before it can see its beauty, it must see those parts of itself that are less than beautiful. What? It is a difficulty, it mm -hmm. is a labor. Mm -hmm. It is not that which cannot be surmounted. It yeah. is felt. It is felt and felt deeply. It is of significant magnitude. Its magnitude is much greater than any earthquake that mm -hmm. the world has known. It is of great and grave magnitude to the earth. But it is expected, for every great age has many great challenges. And this is one before humanity will take its next steps to the next age, before it will complete the cycle, it must rectify this one. Yes. As this becomes complete, Atlantis will finally be complete. As it is complete, then it will be revealed its accurate history, you see? It must be faced. One must turn and face one's adversary. One must turn and face one's painful history. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, the resources of the world are at stake. You see, most of the wars upon the world are to do with the resources. If humanity will fight, if it will squabble for them, then the world ought to see what it is fighting for. If it will fight for the independence of its automobile, or the independence of its ability to heat and warm its home by such resource, then it must know them, then it must come face to face with what it is. You see, mm -hmm. if it will purchase those things that were made by the inexpensive labor of others in lands far away, yes. then it yes. must see how those have been brought here, by what great vessels based upon the same resource have they come. Yes, humanity has now entered what is called the zone of magnification. Five degrees are contained in this zone. Each one brings about a new level of discovery and a new level of responsibility. How deeply humanity immerses itself in these zones will determine how much it must climb to emerge from them. No, not necessarily. It can reclaim itself. It can redeem itself. It will not find itself in a place of true, in a position of true power again. Not for some time, but it can redeem itself. It is no longer qualified to be the superpower of the yeah. world. But if it will find how to stand behind its own rather than in front of it, if it will stand with a shield of honor rather than the shield of battle, it will yet rise more quickly than otherwise. Now can be its finest hour or its demise. It is very difficult to climb an ivory tower, particularly if it is coated in oil.